Pat, this is European Premier. What is it we're looking at? We're looking at a, a flexible cell, a grind milling, a, a laser marking measurement cell for manufacturing of small components. Okay, it's a turbine blade, but it's, it, you know we, we can grind much smaller components, maybe medical, maybe oil and gas. Yeah, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so the secret of it is we've got a small helper robot which will take the components, assemble uh, one or multiple into a fixture, then the larger robot is responsible for actually handling the fixture and ha handling all the wheel packs. Mm -hmm. And in terms of this, Sal, I can see you've got many wheels on there. What, what's the capacity? How many wheel packs can we house? Uh, 16 wheel packs. Okay, so significant. And that's the automation, but how about the machine itself? What uh, well, this is the launch of the TX Linear, which is our taking our TX7 machine and fitting all uh, linear motors to it. So uh, it's an important launch for us. So what are the advantages? Maybe speed, maybe accuracy? Uh, the advantages of the linear motor is sure you get speed, you get uh, accuracy, much better surface finish, and in particular uh, you get you know, long life. So there's no ball screws to eventually wear out. And on critical uh, components, you know, ball screws have got a finite life, whereas the linear motors, their life is essentially mm -hmm. unlimited. Okay, and a lot of people would know Anchor from cutting tool manufacturing, maybe you're making end mills or taps, but obviously this is completely different. This is end user parts, component manufacturing. Yeah, sure. It's a, um, a market we've handled uh, as, as well as the cutting tool market for many, many years. So uh, <clears throat> there's always been a market for tool and cutter grinders, manufacturing automotive components, manufacturing aerospace components. In this case, it's uh, uh, manufacturing of uh, uh, turbine blades. Well, it's an impressive sale, and thank you for your time, Pat.